It's not to indoctrinate. The media does that perfectly. When you switch on that television and you look at the various programs presented, and some of these programs are, are very imposing, very spectacular, and they must have cost a fortune to make, and you switch on and you listen to a nature program, whether it be on National Geographic, whether it be on Discovery World, whether it is a BBC broadcast, time and again, time and again, you have this indoctrination that takes you away from the Word of God and towards secularism. You are always confronted with millions and millions and millions of years, even historic stories about Christ or the Bible or any one of these. There's always that constant element of doubt that is being introduced to make the story unacceptable, untruthful, allegorical, nonsensical. And you always have these brilliant scientists one after the other, confirming that that which is in the Bible is a myth. Now, how do you counteract this? If it is law to teach evolution at the school level and at the university level, and you know for a fact that there is data which can swing the argument in another direction, but the arguments are not permissible at that level. How do you counteract that? The only way to do it is to go public and to present the evidence to thinking people and to confront them with a choice. It's not to indoctrinate. The media does that perfectly. But to present another side of the story and to ask people, to make a choice. So no matter what subject we're talking about, if we're talking about origins, the evolution creation debate, take it to the public. Let the public decide. Is God who he says he is? Is the Bible a book of truth or is it a book of myths? Look at the evidence. Hear the other side of the story.